everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making a set of charcoal taupe resin coasters. For these coasters, she's using acrylic paint for the pigments, and when using acrylic paint that's not specifically for resin, make sure not to put in too much. You should be following a 1 to 10 ratio. If you put too much in, then there's a chance that your resin will not cure properly. So my mom had put some resin aside in some smaller cups to add the pigments and was careful to make sure that she didn't add too much of the acrylic paint. You want to make sure that you're mixing the pigments into the resin really well and you can check the opacity of it with the wooden stick like this. Now she's pouring in some clear resin into this little cup to add these pretty metallic rocks. Which as you can see were 2 euros. <laughs> So the first thing that she's doing is adding clear resin down the middle, which is where these metallic rocks are going to go. And she's also letting the charcoal and the taupe pigmented resin sit for a little bit so it gets a little thicker, so that way they won't blend into each other. And then she starts pouring each color on different sides of the molds. Then she adds more clear down the middle which pushes the two colors out. And then goes in again adding to each side the charcoal and taupe pigmented resin. And this part is pretty cool because the pigments are dark, you're actually able to see the bubbles on camera. Usually you can't really see them, so this is my mom popping the bubbles with a torch gun. And then adding some more clear pigment down the middle and adding the metallic rocks. When adding the rocks into the resin, they ended up sinking to the bottom, so my mom ended up adding several layers of rocks. She uses a wooden stick to make minor adjustments to the placements of the rocks, and tweezers to remove any rocks that may have slipped away. Adding some clear resin where the rocks are causes the dark pigments to shift more outwards. Once they're dry, she uses gold alcohol ink to add a little bit of gold detail. Here is the finished product. She ended up liking the bottom side more because there were more rocks, so she made that the top side.
and here is the bottom which is now sanded. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you like this video be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this in the future.